Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare Franchise Store video. This one's gonna be for April 5th. Guys, it's 1.33 and I have probably about 10 to 15 takes of this video so far. So, hopefully this one goes right, man. But, uh, it has not been, just not been my day. So, Full Metal. I think this one was from Season 1. Could be a Season 2 bundle. But, um, this one is one that I'm not a big fan of for 1,500 cop points. Calibrutal being the highlight here. SOCOM rounds in an ADS build, it's really just not there for me. No matter where you're looking at this, you can't really get a good map that this is going to shred on and get you a super high KD. Yeah, you might get a couple kills, but there's absolutely no recoil control in this class. You would have to build it a little bit better for it to be a pretty dominant class here for me. So, Calibrutal, you know, it's a good setup to start with, I guess, but, you know, at the end of the day, I really wouldn't recommend it. Nothing's really doing it in here for me for 15 bucks, man. You know, I just don't see it, so I would not recommend Full Metal. We have Battle Ready, which doesn't even have a blueprint in it. This is probably worse than Full Metal, um, you know, unless you guys really like the skins, and there's a lot better skins in the game now than these crappy Season 1 bundles. So, I mean, these first two, I wouldn't even recommend looking at them, nonetheless buying them. So, we do have some other stuff here that is returning. Now, Heavy Shot and Gun Nut, I'm not sure if they were late Season 1 or early Season 2, but we have the trebuchet here for the AX50. This is a pretty cool one, man. You got the shorter barrel. So, you know, throw a different barrel in there. Granulated grip tape. You're going to put stippled on every day of the week. Scout combat optic. I'm not a fan either. The arms assassin stock isn't the worst. And you got focus. I mean, it's an interesting build, definitely. But really, I couldn't see you using, like, any of these attachments, man. It just does not work out. And then you got the salt charm there, which is a pretty cool one. I really do like that salty charm, the high sodium. But, you know, just for a 1,000, I mean, that's kind of up to you. If you're a big sniper, you know, maybe pick this one up if you're really, really into sniping. Other than that, not really a fan. Gun Nut, one that I never like promoting. 3,000 COD points, the most expensive bundle ever to be in Call of Duty out of Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. Um, 30 bucks for 5 blueprints all going to be legendary blueprints i will show them really quick you got the m4 smg you have the dark p90 which is probably one of the better ones you have the stratagem uh, sa87 you got the eradication ebr which is one of the better ones in here and then you got the quick hit for the x16 i don't promote this one because 30 dollars for five blueprints is an absolutely insane ripoff so just for you section, this is what I'm rocking if you guys were interested. But let's move on to the brand new bundle, the Akimbo Pack Dark Damascus. Now, I've been grinding my heart out for Damascus, man. I mean, that's all I've been doing the last couple of days is assault rifles right now. Um, I only have pistols and SMGs platinum, so I got a long way to go. But um, I do have a couple, you know, the sniper, shotgun, I have a couple of them gold. So hopefully we'll get it soon, but let's check this one out. Ooh, okay. Oh, this knife looks hot. Loyal Spectre, this looks like a dope charm. This bundle might be calling them my name. Alright, so we have Desert Wraith here. I like this blue... Per, or, pff, I can't even speak. That's what I'm saying, man. It's been so many takes, but we're going to go with it. I like this calling card. Um, Desert Wraith. You got Ghost and Nikto in the background. I believe that's him. And he has like an M13 or M4 or something scoped. I can't tell what Ghost has. Maybe like a Ram 7 or something. Then we got this Loyal Spectre here. It's like a dog tag, 1911, um, obviously for the 1911 pistol, so that's really dope. You have this knife. Dude, this thing looks sick. I'm really digging this. I really like this one, man. This one's different. And then we have the dark Damascus carbide here. Let's see what we're rocking. Oh, man, dude, that, that magazine along with that dog tag looks really sick. So we have monolithic suppressor. And the camo does go across the monolithic suppressor as well, like that. 45 match grade barrel, like that as well. Lightweight trigger and 15 round magazine with a Kimbo. Oh man, this one's solid. I really like this build here. It's a really, really good build. And you got the Akimbo on top of it. I feel like Akimbo pistols in this game, man, so overpowered. Like if you get two M19s, 32 round magazine lightweight triggers, it's like you get shredded by them. This is a really interesting one. This one, I'm kind of tempted to pick up, but I don't think I will. I really don't like the 1911, but since they are akimbo, it gives you another thing to think about. So, I don't know. The knife is sick. The calling card is sick. The charm sick. The whole bundle's sick, and it's only 8 
bucks. So let me know what you guys think about the Dark Damascus Akimbo pack. Sorry it took so long to get this video up. Like I said, it's been getting interrupted and, you know, not being able to record it in general because um, I just can't speak this morning. So, guys, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.